right, guys. We are... I did not expect... Oh, the attack ended already. And it ended in a three-star legit black... Okay, so I just jumped into this. You know, I always find little bits and pieces of little inspiration, uh, you know, for videos. So one thing I haven't done is kind of a live on war day, live on battle day, whatever you want to call it. So we have a random matchup against Terps Win Big. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of them. They were in CWL season one. Uh, I guess we can consider it. It wasn't called invite, but they were in the first CWL, well, season one. And uh, now I believe they're in the NDL. They do have a slight advantage. Uh, you can see their Town Hall 11s go down to number 9. Our Town Hall 11s go down to number 6. Uh, these are a little lighter though. I won't go ahead and burn any bases. But the way it's looking right now, as far as 3 stars, we are 7 for 20. And they are 7 for 18. I do know... That we have done, see we have a few of their 11s doubled already. We have NECA. NECA has a nice 4-pack. Good job to him. We have Captain Oates, a.k.a. Captain Crunch. You guys already know who he is. Uh, he's got a double on number 4. Uh, we have PSC with a 1-star right there. So we're just going to hang out. Hopefully I can show you guys a few attacks from this war when they're going live. So we'll be back with the next attack. Let's see some action here. Let's get this. Where is everybody? Thank you, Wen, for the bowlers. Where are the freaking attacks? Oh, hello. Hello, we have a... What is this? This is a hit-up. This is a 10 v 11 attempt from Captain Oates. Going to be doing a bowler smash uh, brimstone style using four golems. Uh, picking up some nice percent on the lab right there from the archers. All right, here comes the golem routing to the mortar, dropping down his bowlers. Uh, gets the rage down. Just to set a nice funnel down here. I imagine he's going to be entering right up the middle, uh, basically where that eagle artillery is. Here comes a golem with some more bowlers. Very nice. Gets the outside giant bomb popped by the golem before the bowlers walk up. Here comes the main group. Uh, he does have bowlers coming out of the CC. Heroes behind. I don't know. I believe this is a fresh hit. All right, goes ahead and drops down the double jump. You see that second jump? This is a really nice bowler smash base. Uh, funnels definitely set. Uh, troops are heading in. Uh, does have a nice uh, rage right there in the core as well. Uh, and a, a nice, uh, yeah, so he does have the jump spell reading in the town hall. Damn, where'd all the bowlers go? All right, does still have a golem up. Oh, rip. Queen is on uh, the hound, pops the ability. Definitely not going to get this town hall. Damn. Very, very nice try uh, to Captain Oates ending at 48%. Damn. Very, very close. It was looking good. The funnel was set. Oh, shit. We have another live here. We have when. We got a live dip, guys. Here we go. This was definitely worth the wait. Uh, this is a new attack that we have been seeing. It's called something like the cyclone or the baby drag cyclone let me know in the comment section below what it is exactly called but we got when doing it on this base you can see uh he is definitely gonna be taking out all these air defenses uh does have the warden behind when he pops that uh eternal tome ability those baby drags nothing will harm them uh, as they make their way to these uh, air defenses. There it goes right there. Has the balloons uh, getting nice value uh, from that eternal tome ability. All right, here comes the double clone spell. Four spell space dedicated all to the clone spell. This is looking completely wrecked, guys. Uh, we have when, of course, when smashing bases does not matter. Uh, the town hall level. Look at all those baby drags go. And the clone loons are still up, and he gets and gets real lucky right there. That expo is even on ground. Uh, still has a little pack. It looks like things are kind of thinning out, but when you look at what is left, uh, when you look at what's left, there's only two point defenses left, and this archer tower is damn near dead. I mean, look at that. I mean, not even a cunt hair of health. That thing is, has to have one hit point left on it. Uh, but look at all these baby drags. Uh, max level baby drags, no less, at level 5. 
So it's going to take some time, but this is definitely going to be a three star. Still has 50 cents. Let's go ahead and check the corners. Okay, so I don't think we're going to get a time fail. Uh, 45 seconds to chew through uh, these gold stores. Yeah, this is definitely a, going to be a triple from when. Very, very uh, interesting attack. Uh, a new attack that, I mean, I believe it came out of Spartan's Legacy. Uh, there was a video released on it. Uh, you know, go ahead and, uh, you know, search it on YouTube. I'm sure you guys can find it. And there's when with the fresh dip, guys, uh, right there. <clears throat> we got when taken out there, number 15. Very, very nicely done. Still got it done, though. Still got it done. Okay, there you go. Get your hair did. And we got Rago going in on number 25. A little bit of 9v9 action. What is he doing? Looking like a queen charge Lalo. Uh, let's see how uh, Ray breaks down this base. Starting off over here at the 3 o'clock corner. Uh, doing one of my favorite techniques in the game, guys. Doing a Kiwi Walk. I don't know what it is, but I love doing the Kiwi Walk when you can get some good value. Uh, on these bases again don't know what it is but i've always uh, enjoyed a nice uh, kiwi walk which he what he's doing right here uh, so trimming this trash so queen will definitely go in the right direction uh, also gets the cc pull so those wizards are gonna die but he does have a max poison leaving a nice trail leading to the archer queen uh, does get the valks inside that poison as well along with the baby drag and the wizard kind of got low on the health there even under rage but had to pop the ability but still gets it done can he get the queen his queen died damn Look at that. She has no health either. Some of these attacks have been pretty unlucky. That rage, guys, was just a few seconds late. He might... I don't know. This is going to be tough. I don't know if he's going to pull it off. Only time will tell. As you guys see, these attacks are live, not knowing the outcome. I mean, a balloon crash at this point can take out that Archer Queen. If she locks onto the Hound, she'll pop the Hound, those pups. See, he goes ahead and drops a Rage, uh, and all the pups die, of course. So the Queen is still up. Definitely not looking good for Ray on this attack. Uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. That late Rage. I mean, we're talking one maybe two seconds late on that rage uh his queen i'm assuming he probably wanted to break into this compartment right here or he would have picked up these two air defenses taking out the expo obviously taking out the queen the tesla the archer tower so definitely would have gotten good value uh plan that we can build off of he did he's doing a nice little uh wizard walk though uh healers peeling off to the wizard unfortunate attack uh, or outcome, I should say. Good plan can definitely be cleaned up and just going to get amazing value right here. Going to start as Lalo coming across uh, right here. And Queen will take out the entire 12 o'clock section of the base. Very, very nice try uh, to Ray on that one. And we'll go ahead and see if we can get another alive before we wrap this up. Stay tuned. We'll come back when there's another live attack. Here we go. We have Dahan... The Honrak, he is one of our newer members, you could say, doing a witch slap on this base, taking advantage of these offset ADs where nothing can attack these healers. These are usually the bases you want to do this attack on. And it's still a very, very uh, powerful attack, like I said, especially on the right base layout. So far looking very good. I see these witches are nice and healthy on the flanks here. I mean, basically a, a Town Hall 9 version of the bitch attack that you often see at Town Hall 10. You just don't have bowlers on the flanks. Just having witches. And look at all the witches he still has up. And again, just like when you're doing it uh, on a 10v10 attempt, the huge key to this attack is having those healthy flanks. And when your Archer Queen reach, reaches the back end of the base, her still having her ability, which he goes ahead and pops and even picks up uh, that Expo, which was absolutely crucial. Even picks up, uh, even picks up that, 
uh, Tesla right there, and that healer peels off of the witches, and uh, that cannon is distracted by all the skellies, and you can clearly see her health slowly but surely going back up, you guys. She's going to go ahead and snipe that wizard tower, and just like that, this is clearly clearly going to be a three star look at all those skellies has some wizards on the back end uh very very nicely done 99 percent there is the hundred percent by the hand rack uh doing it with a witch slap town hall nine bitch uh whatever you guys want to call it so very very nicely done uh picking up another uh, three star for FFS, bringing our total to nine three stars on the books, uh, which is equivalent to Terps Win Big. They have done a few more Town Hall 9 attacks, as they've only done uh, one 10 v 11 attempt. As you can clearly see, we have done... Uh, we have done total of five so far so uh, only nine triples at 24 attacks uh, so we're about 50 percent right now 9v9 we'll go ahead and check out one more attack before we wrap it up stay tuned oh hello here we go we have ked live what number is this ked is live on number 26 uh what is he doing look like he is doing a queen walk shattered hobo i believe he has bowlers i think i donated him these bowlers uh so yeah queen walk shattered hobo let's see how he breaks this base down uh does have a poison to slow down not only the enemy king but also the enemy cc as well i imagine his bowlers and gums is, are going to be entering in over here uh, as you see this nice little entry right here where you can go ahead and jump in and get really really good value okay here comes the golem making its way down getting good value from the queen funneling that side over there and there goes the golem just like we expected uh golem's gonna be tanking the expo and the wizard tower queen's taking that archer tower nice nice funnel uh set up for the bowlers here and gets an extra sweet double giant bomb set uh that the golem went ahead and detonated so that's two out of the four bombs have now been eliminated there goes the second jump so he's expecting this kill squad to go from one side of the base to the other nice rage right on top of that bomb tower uh just getting good value doing a little walk right here with a golem basically a naked wizard walk if you will oh that golem tanking for that wizard and oh look at the tesla farm right here on the back end this is a fresh hit guys so he did not know where that tesla farm was he is all out of spells but his kill squad is just wrecking through this base again going from one side to the other uh let's see what happens he does still have the queen ability uh we'll see what we can do here here comes all the ground skellies so it's looking like he's out of hogs uh this is going to be really close uh let's see okay I'm going to call it, I'm going to say this is a three because he does still have the Archer Queen's ability and still has some bowlers up. Uh, so Queen, yep, and Jess going to have, uh, so there's no high HP while she's going to be hit, getting hit by these Teslas. There she goes, pops the ability. And of course, oh, I just noticed the healers are, of course, healing a golem beating on a wall to nothing. But this is going to be a three star, a lot closer than I expected considering the value he got from that kill squad. But that is why uh, these Tesla farms can be so tricky on fresh hits. Um when you're going in fresh on with a town on a town hall nine but very very nicely done we got ked oh who is back by the way last time you guys heard about ked he retired he is now back smashing on the blake account so that is going to wrap it up for this video guys uh so far 51 to 47 uh, you can check our public war log to see how this uh war ends but so far looking good a decent start uh to the war but it has been a while i mean months and months and months since i did a, a video like this let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below if you want to see more content like this alive on battle day let me know down below if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already as always this is riggs from clashing ffs i'll see you in the very next video